right, so let's talk about the Super Falcons. As we may or may not know, the Super Falcons will be participating in the Women's AFCON, which will be hosted in Morocco next month. The team's training camp has been open for a few days. 21 players are already in camp. But right now, we're not going to be talking about players joining. We're talking about players dropping out. Desire Paranose and Chiwendu Ihezu both will not be part of the Women's AFCON and will be replaced by Ungozi Okobi and Anam Imor. No official reason was given as to why both these players will not be part of the tournament. But Desire Paranose on the social media made this statement right here. Due to issues bordering on border restrictions, which is beyond my control, I am officially unavailable to serve, which explains my replacement. I wish the team all the best in Morocco as I will be cheering from here. So yeah, that's the only information we have on Desire Paranose missing the women's AFCON. A big miss for the Super Falcons, a top, top player. I mean, you can just go back to the women's AFCON, which was hosted in Cameroon, and how she just had handled her business, took us all the way to the trophy, the beautiful free kick against South Africa, and the power driver against Cameroon that just put everybody to sleep in that stadium, over 60,000 spectators, everybody was on our back, the referee was against us, but we had Desire Paranose that evening, and that's all we needed, and right now we don't have her going into this AFCON, so it's kind of bittersweet right here, because as Desire Paranose is dropping and now we get Ungozi Kobe back, a top class midfielder, one of the best midfielders to ever play on the Super Falcons in my opinion. And I also feel she had the greatest performance a Super Falcon has ever had at the World Cup when you go back to Nigeria against Sweden in the 2015 World Cup. But I understand what people say, she has not done it often enough. I mean, it's been a really long time since she's given us that flavor. But all the same, she has been performing really good for a club and I expect her to bring that back to the Super Falcons she's not just gonna be performing real good at a club and not performing for the Super Falcons I expect her to bring it back home and I expect the form to turn up I won't be surprised to see her in some matches I know she's being brought in as basically a replacement but I wouldn't be surprised to see her in some matches this is a top class player if she can get it all together I mean it's all the better for the Super Falcons so we should be hoping for that and Anami Moore she was part of the under 20s the same set as Rashida Ajibade she's played for the Super Falcons been a bit part player at most instances but now she gets a chance back into the team if I'm not mistaken her name was on the original list so I'm not too sure how they bring her back into the team I thought she was already on the team I might be mistaken about that but all the same Anami Moore and Ungozi Okobi replaced the Zara Pano and Chiwendu Ihezu, a midfielder and a striker come in for two strikers and let's see how it goes from there and last but not least the NFF just announced today that the Super Falcons will be playing in a friendly match against Japan Thursday the 6th of October this year it will be played in Kobe Japan a big time match for the Super Falcons you're talking about the 2011 World Cup champions in Japan top top competition for the Super Falcons definitely what they need if what we expect is that they go out and they show out at the world level and yeah the Super Falcons to play Japan October the 6th that will be after the women's AFCON so hopefully we go into that as the champions of the continent but definitely a great move by the NFF a super friendly setup for the Super Falcons and yeah can't wait for that one please don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all for watching Peace.